All right, in this video, I'm going to show you guys what to do against the Dutch defense. So the Dutch is characterized by them pushing the F-pawn. Sometimes they will actually go E6 first. Um, if they are French players, they can do this. So E6 here and then F5. So whenever they move the F-pawn, it's a Dutch. Um, the Dutch is one of my favorite openings. I've won a lot of good games against Grandmasters, International Masters, some really fun attacking games. But I don't, I mean, I play it here and there, but it's just very dangerous. So I try to avoid it. So knight f3, bishop e7. Um, there's also the stonewall dutch with d5. And I'm going to make a separate video for stonewall, stonewall. But I will also cover um, what to do against the stonewall dutch in this video. Stonewall dutch is another personal favorite of mine. I've beaten some grandmasters, international masters in, in the stonewall dutch. Um, so let's go over the dutch first. So bishop e7, bishop d3. So we're doing the, norm the normal stuff. Um, and let's say d6. So against the Dutch, the way to beat the Dutch is to push e4. If you push e4, basically everything falls apart. Now another thing we're going to do that's a little bit different against the Dutch is here we're going to go c4 to take more space. Um, now let me just make some random moves. So knight c3, let's say b6. Um, we could go e4 here, but what we really want to do is go queen e2. And let me just show you guys, for example, what happens if you get e4 in. So let's say take, knight takes, knight takes, and queen takes. So this is a strong queen. This is a hardworking woman. She's got mate here, attacking the rook, and as a bonus, she's also attacking e6. So here, everything would collapse for black if they let you do this. Um, another idea that you really want to know is knight g5 can be devastating. Like let's say, for example, here, here, and knight g5, you're attacking e6, you have pressure on h7, and you're supporting e4. So this, again, is very, very strong. Um, so we want to go e4. And we go c4. That's the, those are the two kind of ideas. Now they can stop you from going e4. Let's say here, here, and bishop b7. Now um, we can't go e4 because one, two, three. Um, we would actually lose a piece there. So we go queen e2. Now we're threatening e4. And the way they can stop it is they can try to plug it with knight e4. So if they plug it with knight e4, what you can do is you can go bishop takes, pawn takes, and knight d2 try to win this pawn. Now they pretty much have to go d5 here and now we're going to play chess maybe b3 bishop b2 and you know just kind of make moves and your strong side probably is the queen side <coughs> bless me um but that's what you want to do if they plug it up so against the dutch you go c4 knight c3 and you try to um, push e4 now let's go over the stonewall dutch so we have the wall versus the wall so what do we do here Here's another ver time that we go c4. So this, I think these are the only two times you're gonna go c4 to get the bigger wall. Stonewall, Stonewall, and versus the Dutch. So I've never seen someone go c5, but this is already good for white. Generally, you just keep putting pressure, and since you're white, you're up a move. So <clears throat> collapsing the wall would favor you because you're better developed. So generally what people do is they go c6. So after c6, um, we're gonna go bishop d3. So we want to go c5, but we're not gonna do it too soon because now this is early c5. And after b6, b4, a5, we have similar problems to when they do it to us. Now here, I actually think b5 is the best way to go, but we're just gonna avoid this altogether. Um, and we're gonna wait because they can't really do anything. So bishop d3, if they take on c4, you go bishop takes and the wall is shattered. You have this wide open diagonal. This pawn is very weak. We're happy here. This is no problem. So um, they, they pretty much never take, let's say bishop d6. So castle first, let's say castle. And now is where we start getting ready to build the bigger wall. So um, even here right away, I think you can go c5. Um, if you want to push it off to a little bit later, go knight c3. Let's say knight d7, or let's even say knight e4. This is a more common idea. So now I think is where you can go c5. So c5 here, and now bishop d2. So now if they try to break the wall, you can reinforce it like this. Um, and you don't have to worry about the rook because the queen supports the rook. Um, so generally what they do is they try to rook lift and try to attack you. So a couple things about this, do not outpost. If you outpost, generally they are gonna take and come here. And remember, their position is cramped, so they want to trade. Also this knight prevented queen h4. And this bishop was not attacking h2 at all. So you keep the knight over here to, stop them from trading to stop the queen from coming over here 
um, and then you can keep pushing on this queen side. So instead of knight e5, we would go b4. Say rook h6, we go a4. Um, there's a couple ideas here. Generally, what black's gonna go like queen here, queen here. Um, and just know, as long as his knight is here, he's not gonna win. He can't move this knight. And I mean, if you have to, you can always go h3. But basically, he doesn't have enough pieces to checkmate you over here. Now, another th another thing you can go for, let's say b5, and let's say knight d or let's say knight d7. Um, generally, what you want to do here is try to go rook b1, and eventually you're going to take here. You, another thing you can do is actually you can even go a5. So you can go a5, and now you're threatening to take or push. So if they take, you go knight takes, and now you're starting to break through. You're going to hit this. You're going to eventually try to break through with c6. Um, but like one last thing I wanted to show you guys is if they go a6, you can go b6. And if they do this, these pieces are banished to the shadow realm. They will never come out. How does this work going to come out? This bishop, every square is covered. And all you got to do here is chill. Eventually, you're basically, you're up two pieces. Now you can shift the focus to over here. Um, do not outpost because you're going to free the bishop. Instead, you could probably eventually take here um, and just know you're up a rook and a bishop potentially because these pieces are stuck. So stonewall, stonewall, what you're going to do is you're going to try to pawn storm the queen side. Don't do it too early and get b6. Um, first develop, do your thing. But then you can push this, you can push this, and you are super chilling in this position. So that's what you do against the Dutch. That's what you do against the stonewall.